Kira. How are you? Can you tell me that beautiful story about your father? Yeah, of course. Okay, action. Once upon a time, my father decided to start a journey to find himself. As he began his journey, he decided that the only tool he needed was the broom his grandfather used to sweep the city when he was very young. Dad always said that the best encounters in life happen when you're on a lonely walk. Sweeping for him is combing reality, seeking its purity, its cleanliness, moving matter, accommodating it, without expecting anything in return. He always told me that if you are persistent, life gives you a chance encounter with a treasure. We all know that from the desire for the unknown comes the desire to know. And what if you find a treasure in the middle of the sand? And if the treasure were clothes, would you wear them? How would you feel not knowing who they came from? And what if they fit you as if they were made for you? The land, the sea, the air, everything modifies our senses and perceptions about life and the encounter as well. One day, he met a master of the wind who taught him all the secrets of the siesta. He used to sleep every afternoon under the tree of wisdom. His head rested on it from his ears, the vertebrae of the tree protruded polyhedrically to infinity, like an antenna that kept his thoughts in tune with the earth and the universe. While sleeping in that precise and precious state of alertness, he discovers the art of pleasure and contemplation outside the demands of time, where he caresses eternal life without seasons, without genders, without sizes, is a free soul. The sea is for him a source of life, calm, wisdom, secrets, and instincts. With fishing, he could extract keys and secrets of his inner life he practiced fishing to create the encounter with the conscious mind, the world of ideas and creativity. He learned from fishing to develop patient thinking, greening his energies and contemplating the wisdom of silence. Dad told me that the fish, for him, were the mystical ship of life and the food of wisdom. In the sea, Silence is the sound of life. After this great encounter with the treasure, the search for his own identity came to an end. He understood that the secret of his life was to generate encounters, creating treasures for the people of the future, giving them the possibility to find them as he did. He said to me, if one day you don't find yourself, think, how can I create my own encounter? How can what I wear allow me to create myself anew? I feel that I always watched my father from the cabin window of the ship of reality. And when I understood his story, I decided to start my own quest. Dad helped me realize that the horizon of life is absolute and that it occupies all places without being anywhere. It is real and sensitive. It is intellectual and imaginary. 
It is an experience linked to the body, our movements, and our memories.